All right. What's up, guys? All right. So today I'm gonna do another short video. This is gonna be on this uh great sword build or character or whatever you guys wanna call it. The Nodachi. I play Monster Hunter, so that's why I'm addicted to saying great sword. But this is the build. Very very simple. Like it's an extremely short tree. You don't need to kill yourself or anything. It's not gonna cost you an armor or leg. It's somewhat cheap. And the reason why we're going this build is because of a uh, sleight of hand fury to boost attack for a while after conjuring a karakuri and as you guys know with this build you're always conjuring karakuris because of the torch the play style of this build so yeah that's just amazing it's 20 percent and you can get it off in just the right amount of time for this build like i'll show you guys right here you can get your uh, you can get your combo off just before it disappears. If you guys watch the bottom left on our conjure car crew, you're gonna see the buff pops up down there. So conjure hit, flip, and damage, and then it disappears. So it gives you like a perfect amount of time to get your damage off. And before I even get too deep into this build, I'm gonna let you guys know right here, right now, uh, I didn't create this build. This is not my katana or great sword. This was uh, made by Smack Daddy King. He's another Wild Arts content creator and a pretty goddamn big one. So yeah, if you guys wanna see the original, I'll be linking his channel in the description because this is where I got the build from. Now, I'm, I don't play Nodachi a shit ton. I've been using it more often because of this playstyle because it's really fucking broken, I'm not gonna lie. And this is what I'm using. I will always be running these just because it's an extra life when you're facing those broken ass uh, deeply volatiles so I'm always gonna be running these shoes if you want more damage there you go savage three run that but yeah I'm always gonna be running this I'm running uh, this right here it's not goddamn upgraded or broken or whatever it's pretty good it's better than this by uh, two if you guys can tell this gives you a uh, 10 battle spirit this gives you 12 so very simple map let's pick this it's better and you guys know I'm running this for desperation. You can run this for one stroke fury if you'd like. In the video, I was using this just because. Why not? Pretty sure this would actually give me more damage. I'm not gonna lie, this one stroke fury. Because I'm that wolf, you keep breaking shit off him. So I probably could have to run a little bit quicker as well. But I mean, it is what it is at the end of the day. Chess piece, I'm still running this. I mean, it's just that simple. I'm still running this. Some percent desperation. If you want, you can go this if you'd like for the five percent Hawkeye, twenty percent destruction art. If you're playing around one stroke fury a little bit more, so it's more reliable for you to break parts. But yeah, that's what I'm running. And again, the helmet, Rally Fury slash booster, pretty straightforward. The Oz for the talismans. Reason why I love deaf ears in this game. And the reason why I took off my deaf ears helmet is because I have this talisman right here. Like, it's not the best, but the fact that it has deaf ears and 3% desperation, I fucking love it because I love deaf ears in my build. I mean, to just like, it's a little bit more turn, brain dead playstyle, you know what I mean? I don't gotta worry about dodging those annoying fucking wars or anything like that. So, yeah, this is the first talisman. This right here is just for desperation. Again, desperation, desperation, desperation. If you guys have one stroke fury talismans, you can run those. I don't have any good ones, as you guys can tell. So if you have one stroke fury, you can run those. If you do not have desperation or one stroke fury, you can run something like flame wielder. Now, this works against kimonos that you can burn. If you're not gonna <laughs> you're not gonna be if you're gonna be playing into like the lahar back deep like lahar back and like the fucking wolf and shit the fire wolf you're not gonna be able to burn them so this talisman these uh, flame wielder talisman all um, what obviously won't work so i mean it's pretty obvious if you're fighting anything you can burn run this right here if you don't have one stroke fury and desperation that's the only time you'd ever run that and if you don't have that i mean i got no goddamn clue bro uh you could probably go destruction art that's probably the next best thing that's what i was using before when i didn't have any good ones but more reliable part breaks more reliable one stroke fury up time and that's literally about it i'm going to show you guys the play style one more time this is very easy for those who didn't catch it in the video to understand your little whole objective is charge oh wait one second yeah start fighting it but basically you want to charge walk into the torch attack character's gonna attack you attack again it gives you full gauge and you just let go of your right trigger charge build a torch attack and you, and you just let go and your character will swing 
it's very simple it's it's really goddamn simple in fact and in the video as you guys can tell i didn't use any traps or harpoons or anything all i used was a shield so if you guys want to have an easier run bro feel free to just spam out chain traps and shit because it bro it you will fuck everything up if you can hold them still for this like it's crazy the damage bro like and then as you finish you can just build another one again just Oh fuck, my bad. It's too close, but yeah, as you're done. Just another one. Attack, start charging again. And yeah, sometimes this happens, which is really annoying. Whenever that happens, I usually do this attack. But yeah. Let's just walk into the fire, hit the monster, walk into the fire, hit the monster, walk into the fire, hit the monster. Very AC, easy, very simple. You generate a decent amount of character you thread with this as well. So if you have traps, obviously you can just keep spam traps, you can spam your harpoons, you can drop whatever you want. You got a lot of carry curry to work with. And that's literally it, guys. There's nothing else I can really tell y'all about this. It's very simple. It's nothing crazy. There's no ridiculously hard playstyle. Just charge, fire, hit the monster, go again. Rinse, repeat. And with that being said, if you guys like the video, like the video. If you guys want to see more content and shit on Wild Arts, let me know. Let me know how you guys are feeling about Wild Arts right now. Because I'm not going to lie, for me, it's getting a bit boring. It's not like a whole lot to do. We're probably gonna make a separate video on how I feel about it, like how it feels for me right now. So yeah, so let me know how you guys feel in the comment section. And with that being said, hey, I'll have a good day. Peace out.